Hello, this is Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Today you're going to see a Privilege 50 behind me. Uh, this is a new listing uh, that Richard Navarro has. Uh, please feel free to reach out to him at the contact information below. For my clients, you can contact me directly. So I'm going to flip the camera around. We're going to do a little walkthrough of this uh, 50 Privilege. Again, it's a 2015 here in Fort Lauderdale, new arrival. All right, so a few details about this boat. It just arrived here in Fort Lauderdale. It is a four stateroom layout and you'll see it's getting some work done on it. It's actually getting a nice uh, compound and buff for the whole thing. Uh, the engines are Yanmar with about uh, 23, 2400 hours, and they are going to be completely mechanically serviced. So they're gonna be uh, gone through by a mechanic, any uh, intercoolers or any of that stuff that needs to be done will be taken care of at that time. What you'll see up above, you have a couple domes there, uh, one for internet and one for phone, I believe. Now this, uh, this boat does have a sea recovery water maker system on it. Uh, it does not have solar yet, but that could be added here locally. So what you're gonna see is we got really nice uh, teak throughout the boat through the uh, cockpit area here. And you do have a full size uh, tender that can be included in this deal. So what I really like is I like this robust davit system. You'll note that uh, this teak uh, platform goes all the way across here. The tender is gonna be up and secured by this beautiful stainless steel davit system. And uh, that's a really rugged and robust setup there. So this catamaran, obviously it's uh, designed to be uh, sailed you know, seriously. This could be uh, used for Atlantic crossing or anything like that, if you so desired. So you, all the woodwork I noticed is in good shape on it. It is a little bit dusty because they're doing the compound and buff right now. Here on the table, you got storage and then obviously that table folds out. So we got plenty of storage here underneath the seats. And then another feature, if you're thinking about cruising it offshore, is it does have a life raft included there with it. So that's a real nice uh, feature to have. Here you've got uh, outdoor sink, you got some cold storage. And then a nice feature is you've got easy access up to the helm area. So you can go directly up there or you can board that from the outboard. So we're gonna go ahead and pan across here these are your sliding glass doors and those do slide all the way over to the starboard side. We're gonna go ahead and walk into the boat and then we'll come back out and explore the deck a little bit more. So on the interior, what you're gonna see, you've got a nice uh, TV there on the starboard side, um, as well as you've got a really, really nice salon. So plenty of, uh, plenty of area there. Now these are cushions uh, for the outside. They appear to be in pretty good shape. Um, you could have them recovered if you wanted to. But what you're going to notice, there's no water damage on this boat. You know, everything looks uh, really nicely cared for. Uh, the headliner is not sagging down or anything like that. So over to port here, you're going to see you have a nice uh, U-shaped galley. And here you've got uh, gas uh, cooktop as well as a oven set up down below. Uh, you do have a dishwasher on this boat and then you've got uh, dual basin sink right here for washing dishes very very nice and then you've got some cold storage down here below so really nice the counters appear to be in very very good shape and again this is kind of nice if you wanted to set this up as like a little breakfast type bar and then you could uh, eat there um, over on the uh, port side this is your uh, little nav station that you have here, so you get room for charts and all of this. Uh, you do have some ship systems that you can monitor there. Uh, your Cummins uh, Onan generators, dual generators on this, as well as you've got uh, a Garmin set up there, and then the control for the sea recovery uh, water maker. You'll note that there is an upgraded stereo system, and that's the fusion stereo system. So we're gonna head down the uh, port side companionway here and uh, we'll take a look around. Now again, lots of cold storage on this boat. Um, it is a four stateroom layout, but you'll see you got uh, high and low uh, refrigerators there. So we're in the uh, port section heading forward and uh, got a really nice uh, thwart ship bunk here. So some of the bunks have uh, cushions on them, but this is actually a really, really good visibility to uh, show you what you can do in a stateroom like this. Now these catamarans, they are nice big catamarans and having these at thwart bunks are really nice. 
Um, here is your forward shower, and then you'll note that the staterooms do have uh, Samsung TVs on pivots, which is very nice. So you've got a hanging locker down there, you've got a little uh, vanity, and then as we move aft in the boat, you'll see you've got your uh, compartment there with your, with your separate head. So very nice. Uh, this has some really great hull side windows with shades and then a really nice uh, sink there. So very uh, good functional use of space. Okay, so it looks like we got a wine cooler and then we're gonna head port side to the aft of the boat. So when we enter this stateroom, you're gonna notice you've got your shower inboard here. You do have the uh, athwart ship bunk again, and then really great hall side windows. Looking at the headliner, the headliner looks in good shape. Uh, again, no sagging, no water damage. As I look around the boat, all the uh, woodwork really has a very nice, uh, nice shine to it. So that's great. And then this uh, is the uh, head here for the, your aft port stateroom. And again, nice use of the hall side windows. We get a sink down there and everything is nicely cleaned and maintained on this boat. So it's going through a little bit of a rehab, but when uh, the new owner gets her, they will be very, very pleased with the uh, time and effort that's going in. Again, really great use of space here and uh, lovely windows that slide. All right, we're gonna go ahead and look on the starboard side, heading down. Again, additional cold storage here. So that's one, two, three, four full-sized fridges. I'm gonna show you this door and the nice finish that we've got here. So really, really great, no clouding in the lacquer or anything like that. So I'm gonna move forward here. And again, you've got a matching athwart ship bunks. This one does have some uh, bean bags and cushions and other stuff, but really great headroom there. Really nice use of light overhead. You see you've got your, uh, your emergency hatches there. They could be open for ventilation. This, again, mirroring the port side starboard. You've got your forward shower with some uh, cushions in it. And then again, mirrors nicely with the vanity and then enclosed separate uh, toilet area there with the nice hall side windows. Nice clean sink. The boat does smell very good. In this cabin, what you're gonna notice is on inboard, you've got some uh, additional storage in drawers that open up down there. A little bit of artwork. And then we're gonna head to the aft starboard cabin. Again, mirroring the port. So you've got the enclosed shower there. You've got the athwart ship bunk. And you really do, like this is very spacious. I'm, I'm actually 6'4", and I've got about probably eight inches of headroom up above me. So really nice, and again, there's your Samsung TV, hall side windows, nice woodwork in this one. And then this is your uh, fourth head here. So really, really good. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the outside of the boat as well. Okay. As we head over, again, here's our nice storage with the uh, life raft in it. I wanna open up this uh, engine hatch here. So down here, they are still cleaning it up, but I wanted to show you, there's your sea recovery. Good, great access to the uh, Cummins generator. Really nice at the base of that. And then you'll notice that the uh, motors have very, very good access to get around them. And again, we are having a mechanic come to look at the boat and they're gonna do any of the necessary service on the motors. So the next owner is gonna have a nice turnkey operation. Okay, so here on the port side, we're gonna head up. See, I've got a really, really nice enclosure here. That's great. The Isinglass looks in good shape. You may want to have some of that replaced. That could be done here locally in Fort Lauderdale. Here's your power winches and then I really like this control. So no one's going to accidentally activate those winches because they do have the guards down on them. And then here is our Garmin multifunction display and our Yanmar engine controls. So you'll notice all of your lines are run to this helm so you can easily handle the boat in weather from this location. So this is gonna look a little dusty, and the reason why is they're actually compounding and waxing that. Now you see right here, I got a beautiful shine on this. So when they compound and wax, 
that's going to do two different things. That's actually going to uh, get ready, get rid of any of the dullness that you may have uh, in on the boat, and it's going to shine it, and then the wax is going to protect it. So it's a great thing that you can do with the gel coat boat to really bring it back to life. And you see, we got a gentleman on the outside there spinning a wheel, getting this sucker nicely uh, buffed out for you. You do have the uh, rollers and the bow spurt that goes up. You'll notice that your jib has an uh, electric control, so you can easily uh, roll that out. And then center line, you get a really great access to a windlass. Now, this boat has some trade-offs. Uh, you don't have the huge trampolines in the front of the boat, but by not having that, you get a lot more functionality. So you see in the four peak here, we've got storage area we, on the uh, front deck. You see we've got additional hatches and storage area there. All of our lines appear to be in good shape. And then one feature I like about this is they have the, uh, they have it set up where you can climb up the mast here. So you'll see you've got little uh, uh, landings for your feet all the way up the mast and uh, you're able to access that whole area. So this sucker is available here in Fort Lauderdale and she's being buffed out and cleaned up prepared for her next owner. So there's not a lot of these rugged, larger privileges that are on the market. And this one is going through a little bit of rehab, but it's gonna be brought back to life. And overall, I'd say there's a lot of demand for this particular boat as a nice, rugged, well-built cruising yacht. So we're gonna take another look at the tender here. And again, here's our large deck underneath. And then, really like the sugar scoops on these. This area here actually serves as a really great swimming platform. You'll get a handhold there. I believe there is a pull-out ladder in this section as well. So we'll take another look kind of here from the sugar scoop. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith with Dennison Yachting and Richard Navarro with FYI, we'd like to thank you for checking out this uh, 2015 privilege. If you're in the market for a boat like this, please feel free to reach out to either of us for additional information. My direct customers contact me directly. Any other people, feel free to reach out directly to Richard. Thanks so much and look forward to seeing you on the next video. For additional information, please email me at ts at denisonyachting.com. Also feel free to text me at 404-805-9819. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below and be on the lookout for additional videos 